DG of St. Stan was growing disquiet. The unfamiliar restaurant surroundings, the borrowed clothes, the disappointing work report and the tribal debate were all contributing factors, but he knew of another matter taking its toll. DGF was hesitant to raise the topic. Apparently Stanwell's discomfort had now become his. Will you tell me about you and Elsa Marais? he asked. Stanwell felt the earth collapsing about him. Again he was back in that gold mine, underground, suffocated by dread. He gulped hard, stalling for time, as he struggled to concoct an evasive response. To his credit, Stanwell chose not to lie. Bas, how do you know this thing? Sir Duncan told me, said DGF. He and Mrs. Duncan saw both of you together the other night, splashing about in their swimming pool. Men, I'm sorry. We don't want to cause you nice people any trouble. Stanwell, relax. The Duncans and I are okay about it, DGF said gently. In fact, we feel partially responsible. Then she became pensive. Simba, she began. She insisted on calling him that because it meant lion in Swahili, despite his protestations that Simba was a popular brand of potato chips. You do know I love you, don't you? That's real, Lekka, as I do you. Please say it. Elsa, I love you, he said simply, realizing there was nothing simple about it. 